Hi, this is Peter from IQ. You're watching Morrow.com and uh, check out the new IQ album, The Road of Bones. It's about a serial killer, in fact, um, and it's it's um, a, a guy who's who's the way I imagined it is it's like a small town in America, probably, and uh, this guy is kind of picking off his victims one by one, and it gives him a sense of power and a sense of of superiority, I suppose, and nobody in the in the town knows who's doing this, and. Whereas sometimes people who are in that position, they, they make out that it's something that they have no control over, that they can't help themselves. He actually, you know, says that he, he knows exactly what he's doing. And he, he gets this kind of sense of, of power and importance from doing it. And he likes leaving little clues and uh, he likes that moment when they discover another body so it's a fairly grim dark song but the whole album has a fairly dark somber mood I think but um, the road itself I mean you know when uh, the music was first put forward and my you know put the music forward um, it seemed very filmic and very visual and so that kind of inspired that story really okay so you're saying that the music was written first, and then you decided to, to write about a serial killer? The, the, mu the music is always written first. The music is always written before the lyrics. And uh, in fact, with that one, because um, it opens very sparsely musically, it's just, you know, bare piano chords. And um, Mike said he, he it sounded to him like it was opening up on a scene of, of some kind of carnage mm. and you know he mentioned this idea of a serial killer so I, I just I just latched onto that and did the lyrics and there were some additional vocals that I came up with so um, yeah that was a, that was a, a good uh, co-write you know Yeah, yeah, everything is new, everything was recorded during those sessions um, and everything was written during those sessions. There was nothing that was unused from a previous album. Everything was written specifically for for this album. Um, usually what happens with, with any album is there's a, a fair bit of material that doesn't get used and it's kind of left unfinished. But we decided, because there was going to be a an additional disc of material that we wanted to finish everything and record everything so um, it was it, essentially it was recording a, a double album although it isn't technically a double album it's, it's an album with another <laughs> disc of songs um, but I mean any of those songs I guess could have, could have made it onto the album um, but it, you know it's not sequenced as a double album like for example Subterranea there's a definite a to B transition of songs on that album, but this was constru uh, structured very much as a a one disc album. But then there's a, an additional disc of, of songs as well. Oh. No, it didn't take us five years to write it. It took us about two years to write it. We, you know, in in the five years since the last album the band has gone through changes and obviously we've had major lineup changes and uh, we also did uh, Subterranea again, we revived that and we had the IQ 30th anniversary tour so um, we did both of those before we set about writing the new album but this is probably it's probably about 18 months work I would think from start to finish with this album which actually is quite fast for us. <laughs> the heads I'm seen as death. You know, obviously a lot of the mo music came from, from, from Mike, um, and he, he was kind of spearheading that. You know, Mike was in a position to, to spend more time working on that than, 
the rest of us really so um, you know as with all of these things somebody comes with a musical idea and then everybody else injects their personalities into it you know so um, it's still a, a group venture very much so Finding order, road of bones and pushing the album as much as we can and I have to say I mean the, the way we've released it in terms of promoting it on the website and, and you know releasing little tasters little snippets of the song and then eventually we've released the whole track the road of bones on YouTube um, it's created a really good impression there's a lot of excitement and reviews that we've seen so far have been very positive so hopefully we're maintaining that kind of upward curve that we've what we've had for the last oh good few years now <laughs> you know I mean it's always important I think that the albums have to be the best you can make them you know and that's why there's a long gap between albums because we don't just rush them out they're, they're the, they, that's the legacy of, of what we do that will last forever you know well yeah <laughs> <laughs> perhaps not forever but Oh, I don't know. Um, personally, I think that seems a little bit... I don't know. Sitting on a cruise line and watching a prog band it seems a bit horrifying to me. <laughs> I can imagine it's a lovely experience, and you know. But I, I don't know. Uh, we haven't been approached, as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure that it's something that I personally would want to do. It's a strange sort of... Spawned from fire Scrape across the sky Where once they 